to get this straight. You still went to the gender first? <laughs> but we're here now, Barry. So what do you know about Janet Smythe? Well, I know that in college, she developed a mathematical analysis of consistent substrata in compiler language. Yeah, yeah, the janitor already told us that. What else you got? <laughs> I assume you know the most famous story about Janet Smythe that everyone knows? I assume we don't. And assume we're too lazy to look it up online. <laughs> it's one of my favorite business success stories, second only to the legend of Arturo Maximoff, the man who monetized his mathematical analysis of non-consistent substrata in compiler language. Yeah, yeah, the janitor rambled on about him, too. I like this janitor guy. <laughs> Get to Janet Smythe. Yeah, we need an origin story, and we need it now. Well, it's one of those classic eureka moments, like when the apple hit Isaac Newton on the head, inspiring his theory of gravity. Oh, I get it. Like when I dripped chocolate sauce on my pasta, inspiring my theory of fudge scotty and meatballs. Shelby, I'm going to talk to you now. <laughs> Janet Smythe was a young inventor when she received a shock from a loose wire. It led her to realize that the future of technology lay in wireless connectivity. So if that didn't happen, there'd be no Globo Digidine? Exactly. You can read all about it in her unauthorized biography, Don't You Dare Write a Book About Me. <laughs> thanks for the info, Barry. And thanks for the book. Be careful with that. It's autographed. Why would I sign this? Love, Janet. Oh, <laughs> she dots her eyes with cute little skulls. <laughs> I just got off the phone. Then why are you still on the phone? Oh, I'm not on the phone. The phone's on me. <laughs> Ronaldo, you've got to stop messing around with my adhesive. Now, do you like your bandages ripped off fast or slow? Fast. <laughs> Ow! But I like my phones ripped off slow. <laughs> anyway, I was talking to Marcy, and she said she'll be back soon. Yes, she said that earlier. And you two can work on your chemistry. Yes, there's a lot of chemistry involved. Yeah, there is. I already agreed with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is about you insinuating that she likes me, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're wrong. Our relationship is based purely on a mutual appreciation of science. You know what? I'll prove it to you by conducting an experiment wherein Marcy and I do nothing but sit in my kitchen eating pizza rolls, and you'll see that without science, she will have no interest. Pizza rolls. Will you stop that? <laughs>